What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been doing well. I got a lot of new pickups this month. Let's check them out. So first up is this brown Subi shirt. I know I used to call it K-Subi. My bad, everyone. Subi is a brand known for their premium denim, but they make other dope pieces. What I really like about this shirt is that faded brown color and the subtle logos in the back. I mean, brown can sometimes be a weird color to style if it's not the right shade. But luckily for me, this is perfect. I did get this in a size medium. It doesn't fit oversized. It doesn't fit too slim. They have a ton of other colors as well with that same faded look. So that's always an option for you if you don't like brown. They have pretty much every neutral color out there. And you can just tell whenever you hold it that they use a lot more premium materials and it's definitely going to last a long time there's this additional fabric hanging on the side as well not too sure what that's all about but okay looks pretty cool i am so looking forward to styling this with fall outfits perfect earth tone color for the fall season now next up are some cargo pants from subi as well and just a heads up nordstrom rack did send this over for a partnership i did with them on tiktok y'all should follow me if you haven't already at fly with johnny ty but yeah if you guys didn't know nordstrom and nordstrom rack have some pretty good quality streetwear brands so don't sleep on them they always have a sale going on. But yeah, these cargo pants are pretty dope and Subi never misses on their quality of their products. This has a simple light faded wash, comes with a D-ring on your belt loop to hang your keys. The straight cut fit allows you to pair it with plenty of kicks like pairing it with boots or some Air Force Ones. Definitely a huge fan of this brand. I suggest you guys check them out. They have some pretty dope stuff. So now let's talk about a new skate sneaker brand started by skaters for skaters. This brand is called Last Resort and I like these sneakers a lot better than the Kariyuma wave that happened. I mean, I like skating the Kariyumas as well, but I just prefer these sneakers over those any day. I mean, if you just take a look at the silhouette of the sneakers, I think it's a lot more beautiful. And the only thing that they don't have on Kariyuma is they don't plant trees if you buy a pair of sneakers. Who knows though, they might in the future. And at the end of the day, you are still supporting a small local brand and I'm all for that as well. So I have the burnt orange colorway. It's skate it's nice. The sneaker actually pairs well with a lot of traditional streetwear outfits. So I'm just stoked to skate these and wear them casually. Okay, so I'm excited to talk to y'all about this next one. I have two pieces right here, but they actually form to make one jacket. And this collaboration is actually between Nike and Matthew Williams of Alix Studio. This jacket really is the definition of what tech wear should be outside of acronym. So let's start off with the fact that you can wear this in at least four different ways. The default standard look of a jacket for fall and winter, but actually you can take the top shell and hoodie off to reveal basically a technical vest that's perfect for spring and summer. Then the vest layers are removable as well to make it even more minimal. Or you could just wear the shell with the hood if you want. It might look a little bit weird as it has this asymmetrical crop design, but you can get creative with it. I mean, there's plenty of other ways as well, but that's how you're mainly going to wear this piece. This whole jacket is lined with Gore-Tex, so you're going to be waterproof. It is also sweat wicking. There's flaps and mesh to provide more ventilation, and this is probably a little gimmicky, but there are actually packs packed into the vest that you can fill with with water and freeze them if you want. This jacket does say it is designed for the future of training, but eh, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that. And there's a built-in face covering with some Chinese slash kanji characters. Overall, this piece is just sick. I'm just glad Karma sent an email notifying me that these were 50% off. So thank you Karma for sponsoring this video. Let me thank them real quick. So if you guys don't know the brand Karma, you guys definitely don't watch my channel enough. Karma is actually formerly known as Shop Tagger and it is the best way to do online shopping. And I use Karma for shopping in general so that doesn't apply to just clothes. It applies to my technology shopping, my skateboard hobby, furniture shopping. So yeah, like I said, Karma came in with the assist. They notified me that this jacket was 50% off and that's just what they do. You can tag items and have Karma send you an email or push notification, letting you know that an item is back in stock or has gone on sale. That way you don't have to constantly be checking out a website if there's a sale. And so that you never miss out on an item that always sells out. So go ahead and download the extension in the link below. I personally use Chrome, or you can always get the mobile app on your phone and start checking out your favorite stores and start tagging items. Once you get the extension, there's going to be this blue box that pops up and you can just move it up and down to navigate around the page is super easy. And when you choose to tag an item, you can place in any list of your creation. That way you can make your shopping a little bit more organized. I mean, I personally have curated lists for different categories of my shopping life and you get to create your own shopping list because shopping is personal. And the best part guys, whenever you head to checkouts, Karma will analyze the web for available coupon codes. All you have to do is click one button and it's going to apply a bunch of discount codes found throughout the net, therefore saving you some money. And just so you know, this is only available on desktop. You can also save even more money by activating the Karma Cash feature on partnered websites. That way you can get some money back by just shopping at your favorite websites. All you have to do is click that link in the description and download the Karma extension. Thank you Karma for sponsoring this video.
So let's talk about a few bags that I picked up. This right here is the Orbit Gear Falcon 21.2 sling bag or something like that. And this is awesome. So the brand Orbit Gear is a small brand based out of Indonesia. And if you're into tech wear, chances are you have seen these in a majority of the tech fits out there. This brand is known for their three axis strap, which is very well designed. This is basically their newer, more mature version of my original sling bag that I got from them. The bag is entirely water repellent, super durable, has a mole board so that you can add your own mods or to keep some tools on there. Like for example, you can keep a pocket knife, a flashlight or a pen on you at all times. And Orbit Gear does sell its own mods that you can place on that mole board as well pretty useful there's like water bottle holders and plenty of other stuff and there's these magnetic fit locks that feel very premium and look quite nice as well really pops on the bag and there's plenty of storage as well for a smaller laptop like my 13 inch macbook there's a handle so you can hold it like a briefcase or you could just sling it around your body and if you don't want to access the bag through the magnetic fit locks you know that's like a three-step process there's actually a back mounted zipper for quick access inside the main pockets and there's a side zipper as well right here Let's just say you have a tablet, you can just pull it right out and it's quick and easy access. That way you don't have to mess with these, you know, one, two. That's just too much work sometimes. All these features are what tech heads look for, which is why it can be a little bit more pricey. You know, it's more materials, more thought put into this design. So this bag is a bit pricey, but like all my friends say, you buy nice or you pay twice. If you guys are looking for a more streetwear take on a sling bag, look no further than this brand right here. This is Ojeto. I know I'm definitely butchering that pronunciation, my bad. I've got this multi-paneled camel print and then also this one that they actually did with Union. And yes, that is the same brand that created these beautiful Jordan 1s. Each of these bags are made from a highly durable military grade ripstop fabric. You don't have to worry about these bags getting destroyed. There's a lobster claw strap with the branding that's fully adjustable. And yeah, these bags just pair really well with street fits and also tech fits as well. A lot more low key than the Orbit Gear sling bag. Perfect for carrying your EDC and some hand sanitizer. Can't complain about these. Definitely check out this brand. It's a small startup, so go show some love. Up next is this cap right here that is the collaboration between the brand Alpaca and my boy Accessorize Me. And I really dig this hat because you can just tell that it was made with much more purpose than your standard regular dad hat. For example, this hat is water repellent, which is nice for rainy days. Perfect accessory for tech fits as well. And you wanna check this out. Most caps have your standard metal clasp so that you can just adjust it and it can be nice but this one offers additional functionality by being a quick release magnetic clip that allows you to attach it to your belt loop or a bag for example and it's not going to come apart so it can stay on your belt loop you don't have to worry about it ripping off easily so because of the water repellency and the sturdier brim i know this is going to last a lot longer than your standard cap but unfortunately as of right now this is sold out but alpaca the brand itself has some nice accessories some nice bags as well backpacks and i definitely recommend checking them out and shout out to my boy accessorize me now let's talk about boots so nordstrom rack did send these over to me as well if you're not into boots start here i think these boots are the best way to get your initial taste with boots in general and you'll end up developing this new appreciation for boots you know it's kind of like when people get introduced to pho pho doesn't represent all of vietnamese food in general right but after trying pho you're interested in trying other things out what i like about these is the slim upper that leads to the chunky sole so when paired well it can give your outfit some really nice proportions and these came in at an average price of a pair of vans and it'll just give your fit a whole different vibe definitely recommend starting right here so another hat for me to talk about is this trucker hat that Nordstrom Rack sent as well and as far as hats and trucker hats in general this is top tier the brim is actually plush can you believe that and there's just a lot more rigidity in certain places flexibility in other places more so than my Chicago trucker hat that I got from Mysterious Tower and the brown color pairs really well with pretty much any outfit as well and ooh, this next one is for the watch heads now just a disclaimer I am not a huge watch nerd myself but I can say I'm definitely into them and I do have a few watches I plan on collecting in the future but just in general, I prefer regular jewelry like bracelets and all that over watches at any day. That's just my personal preference. I know the watch heads will probably uh, come at me, but not when I show them my Seiko 5. So let's face it. There's a few brands that watch nerds really love. You know, you got Seiko, Casio, and Orient watches, and I have all three of those. So this Seiko watch right here, I really picked it out because I have the Orient Kamasu in the blue colorway, but I wanted something that's a lot more neutral and this one's just plain silver, nothing too crazy. Sometimes the blue in my Orient watch is just a little distracting to me. And this Seiko watch is almost the perfect alternative to that watch. It doesn't have as much water resistance. It doesn't have the sapphire crystal glass, but I personally think that it looks better and there's an open back case. Only thing that sucks is that the default metal strap is kind of lacking compared to the 
default orient kamasu metal strap but i really have no complaints i really dig this watch it looks good and last but not least i got this graphic tee from the winwood walls gift shop y'all know how much i love supporting museums gift shops coffee shops and all that that's where you can find the best shirts in my opinion you know you're supporting local businesses and there's local artists that you can't really get on the mainstream scale so definitely check out your local brands or if you visit a different city like i did with miami Check out any of the tourist attractions, pick up some local artist merch, and you will have some unique pieces. And so y'all, those are my recent pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at flywithjohnnytai. And until then, stay fly, check out Karma. Deuces.